The Sims 4, Snowy Escape adds tons of new content for your Sims including large-scale outdoor activities and Japanese-inspired interactions, items and decor. Snowy Escape is the 10th expansion pack of the 4th generation of the Evergreen The Sims series. Currently, The Sims 4 has many amazing expansion packs to choose from. While some allow you to go to work with your Sims careers or at an island paradise, others include weather or fame gameplay. However, the latest Sims 4 expansion pack adds the new location of Mount Komorebi, a Japanese-inspired tourist destination. The new location itself is comprised of the usual three sectors, which is now common since The Sims 4, Cats and Dogs. Wakaba is the lowest point of the mountainous region and more of a residential area surrounded by natural beauty as well as a developing modern town. The town is also the official home of Mount Komorebi's mascot Yamakan, a comedic costumed character who greets tourists. Further up the valley lies Senvamachi, a tourist destination with nature trails, shrines and even a temple. This beautiful town is steeped in Japanese tradition with forest spirits, ancient architecture and a winding river. The northernmost area is Yukimatsu, a rugged and untamed mountain area perfect for all kinds of outdoor activities. Those with the new, adventurous trait will be at home on the mountain's ski slopes, snowboard runs and climbing rocks. This area also features hiking trails to areas of interest, onsen bathhouse with natural hot springs and the chance to ascend the mountain itself. The three areas together make up a wonderfully intriguing destination with something for everyone. Taking part in activities unique to Mount Komorebi can help progress through the new Mount Komorebi sightseer aspiration. The new hiking interactions are great for Sims who just want to quietly take in the breathtaking scenery. Strolling through bamboo forests and riverside parks can also provide powerful moodlets unique to the region. A new meditative state can be applied from some of these activities and provides the emotionally mindful moodlet. This powerful state allows sims to surge emotions, allowing them to boost one emotion such as happy, sad or focus, for example. The new skill-based activities however require a little more interaction with sims and provide something to work towards. Skiing and snowboarding, for example, aren't easy to learn, so it's best to start off on the bunny slope at low intensity. This ensures that the sims will ski or board slower and not try to perform stunts. Other slopes include easy, intermediate, expert and ludicrous. Each slope varies in difficulty such as obstacles and speed. As well as being able to use more advanced slopes, progressing the skiing and snowboarding skills also unlock new items, cosmetics and interactions. New outdoor sportswear, better skis and boards and trick jumps can be unlocked for example. It might be worth noting that The Sims 4 Seasons is not required for snow activities at Mount Komorebi. Rock climbing is another new skill in Snowy Escape and also requires time and patience to master. Rock climbing skill can be improved by practicing on small faces while in Yukimatsu. While you can instruct a sim to scale a wall that he isn't qualified for, it isn't advised, as rock climbing is extremely dangerous for underskilled sims and can result in death. Similar to slopes, rock walls come in various difficulties such as small rock walls, medium height rock walls and tall rock walls. Climbing smaller walls is best for beginners, and then moving on to larger walls when the appropriate gear and interactions have been unlocked. For example, at level 3 rock climbing skill, sims can perform a pre-climb stretching interaction or chalk hands at level 4. These interactions will provide greater success in scaling walls provided they aren't too treacherous for a sim's current level. Reaching the top of Komorebi requires the mountain excursion event from your sim's cell phone. Full rock climbing skill is advised and you should also stock your sims with plenty of supplies such as bug repellents, food and tents, similar to the sims 4 jungle adventure. All of these great outdoor activities can help with the new, extreme sports enthusiast aspiration. As well as these brilliantly fun activities, each town plays host to their own festivals every other Friday, Saturday and Sunday. 
these work pretty much the same as the ones in The Sims 4. City living and are a great way to meet local Sims, learn traditions and sample local food. Each festival has a unique feature, outfit and food item for Sims to enjoy. The Festival of Snow is held in the Yukamatsu region and features snow-based activities such as snow pal building, a warm snow outfit and a grilled squid dish. Senvamachi holds the Festival of Light, which features paper lanterns and fireworks, an exuberant colored robe and fish-shaped desserts. The Festival of Youth is all about having fun and features void critter hunts, yamakin and ice cream crepes. Vending machines dotted around the new region also allow Sims to purchase Simi capsules, the game's new collectible. Simi capsules can be opened to reveal a Simi doll of which there are 12, each with a rare golden variant. Activities aside, all new in-game items have been designed around the Japanese theme. Such things as traditional kotatsu tables, shoji and even a shoe rack that makes Sims remove footwear when entering a home are all included. Home-style cooking now includes authentic Japanese foods such as nigiri, onigiri and yakisoba to name but a few. The new decor is more than enough to give any Sims home an authentic Japanese look and some even looks good with existing items such as the meditation stool from The Sims 4, Spa Day Stuff Pack. All cast items are uniquely tailored to this expansion with robes, kimonos, outdoor gear and hairstyles. These new clothing and style options ensure that Sims can look the part while at Mount Komorabi as well as other destinations or scenarios. For example, those with The Sims 4 seasons might want to use the new outdoor clothing, while kimonos and robes will look great in existing Japanese homes. Surging emotions can also be attained by using the meditation stool and could be useful for Jedi and Sith Sims for players who have The Sims 4 journey to Batu. Finally, a new lifestyles system has been added with Snowy Escape and provides new gameplay goals to work towards. Lifestyles are traits that are achieved over time by doing something repeatedly, so, if your sim is single for a long time for example, they might attain that single and loving it lifestyle trait. The difference between sim traits and lifestyles however is that lifestyles can be lost or gained depending on a sim's choices. Lifestyles unlock powerful new interactions and states that will be a great benefit to the sim in question. Single and loving it, for example, provides a skill gain boost for as long as the sim is actually single. Other lifestyles include Technophobe, that allows Sims to sabotage electronics, Indoor C, that provides benefits when indoors and Junk Food Fiend, that opens new food interactions. While some are fun, not all lifestyles are purely beneficial. Some lifestyles come with negative effects such as becoming tense when outside for Indoor C, Sims. As is now the custom, a free base game update was released before Snowy Escape and included some excellent free items such as platforms in build mode and the ability to make any lot in the game a rental lot. Each new aspect of The Sims 4, Snowy Escape combined makes up one of the most comprehensive Sims 4 expansion packs yet. The new location is a stunning blend of Japanese tradition, folklore and modern life with something for everyone. Some players may wish to explore at a leisurely pace while others might want to punish the slopes and make their sim a snowboarding champion. You might also want to have a sim family live in Mount Komorebi in order to soak in the rich traditions and culture of this vibrant location. It might have taken the sims team a little too long to finally add in some Japanese flavor, but now that they have finally done it, it was well worth the wait. The Sims 4 Snowy Escape release date was November 13, 2020 and is available now for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One.